Hello and welcome to this World of Tanks First Impressions video. My name is Maxwell and today we are looking at the Churchill Mark 7. That's right, the Churchill Mark 7, which is the Tier 7... Nope, not Tier 7, totally wrong there. Tier 6 British Heavy Tank. And if, as you can see, it's modelled a lot more on the premium Churchill over there. You can see one in the battle. So main differences right off the bat, visually the model itself is a tiny bit larger than the Lend-Lease premium version of the Churchill. Don't know if that's intentional or an accident. Apart from that, remarkably similar in artistic styling, apart from it does have that mean looking turret there with the additional tank treads draped all over it. Kind of makes it look a lot meaner. Now, down to stats wise, this has um, slightly better armour, well not slightly better, considerably better armour than the tier 5 version and the premium version so its chances of not getting a penetrating hit on this thing are a lot higher although slope wise the armor is fairly awful it's got that massive Looks flat like front plate right and then that weak underbelly there so it's only really armor thickness that's going to stop around in this thing's case you're not very likely to bounce anything as you can see there getting a full penetrating hit from the side it's matchmaking's pretty good though so you're only really likely to go up in tier 6 and tier 7 battles i've never really seen this in a tier 8 or tier 9 battle as of yet now onto the cannon the cannon is a lot better than the premium version obviously it's not as fast firing but it's got a hell of a lot more punch to it much higher armor penetration and much higher damage per shot and the fire rate is still pretty good i mean if you watch when i take a shot at this kv2 here and miss somehow it still reloads fairly quickly obviously not on par with the craziness of the on par with the craziness of the premium churchill but still able to dish out a decent amount of damage now, unfortunately, I thought that was the KV-2 hitting the wall there, but no, nope, that was the KV-2 taking off, stripping off pretty much 600 of my hit points with a shot there. So, a bit of a shame there. Now, when you're not going up against a KV-2 with a derp cannon, this thing is a real brawler. It's able to get in there and take some serious punishment and then still able to get out. Like I said, guns that aren't able to penetrate its front armour generally won't, even though you have very bad sloping on that armour. You're able to soak up a ton of damage and able to not necessarily ricochet but just not get penetrated by a good majority of rounds. So finally able to take out that bloody KV-2 and I think the other Churchill is already destroyed so just going to move forward now. This wasn't a particularly fantastic game but for some reason I played probably close to 50 games yesterday and not a single one of them recorded so all of the recordings that I'd set aside to do the first impressions for each and every tank just gone. So I've had to record this at the, at the last minute uh, just to get some footage out there. So yes first impressions of the Churchill Mark 7 definitely worth the investment go for it. It's a good tank, it's a good brawler it's able to soak up a, a decent bit of damage. You're not likely to get any glancing hits, uh, ricochets and whatnot from it, but it is able to soak up a good bit of punishment. It's got a decent cannon, it's got good penetration and good damage on it. And it's got a reasonable fire rate, although nowhere near as good as the premium Churchill. But then again, it is one tier higher than the premium Churchill. So stack up next to each other, obviously this one is superior, but like I said, that's just because this is probably a whole tier above it. So would I go for this tank? Yes, I definitely would. And if you're thinking about going down the British tank tree, then I would definitely recommend going as far as the Churchill Mark 7. So thanks very much for watching, guys, and I will catch you in the next video.